Gran tiempo. So, question seven. Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I will respond to PQs 2789 and 2803 on MediSafe areas together so that I can give a more holistic reply. As in question 7 and question 8? Yes. Yes. Please do. While employers process both employee and employer CPF contributions of their workers, SEPs or self-employed persons are responsible for making their own MediSafe contributions after declaring their income for the year. More than 75% of SEPs are able to meet their MediSafe obligations in a timely manner. For the remaining SEPs who are unable to do so, about half, about 50% of them, have less than $3,000 in outstanding liabilities. Most SEPs with outstanding MediSafe liabilities have not met the basic healthcare sum. Now, to ensure that SEPs continue to take personal responsibility in saving for their longer-term retirement and healthcare needs, SEPs are required to contribute to their MediSafe to qualify for government schemes such as workfare. To enable our lower-income SEPs to benefit from workfare, SEPs have up to two years to make the required MediSafe contributions to qualify. Less than 5% of appeals for workfare were from SEPs requesting to waive their MediSafe contribution requirements. We recognise that this is a difficult period for many people. The CPF Board has been helping SEPs who are facing difficulties in meeting their MediSafe obligations find alternative arrangements, such as by extending their, gy their gyro arrangements to reduce the monthly instalments. The Board also considers appeals on a case-by-case -case basis and exercises flexibilities based on the appellant's needs. Members who are facing significant income loss and require urgent financial assistance can also apply for support through schemes such as the COVID-19 recovery grant by the Ministry of Social and Family Development. They can visit their nearest social service office if they need further help. Thank you.